Hey, it's Sia. I'm Carol. It's Tiffany. It's Nicole. And this is what keeps us together. Basically the group chat in your head. Living rent free. Hey. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Right. Mm. Yeah. So this week's episode is not sponsored by, but it should be. Um, Spizzies. I had meant to go there before I came here, but I ran out of time. So they are in PG County. They have a location in Camp Springs and Brandywine. They sell mm. smoothies. Um, they also have food there. It's really good. It's black owned. So I recommend if you're in the PG County area, you should stop by. What's your go-to order? Dang. Um, they have this. Oh, and the names. Are, I mentioned that. Thank you for saying that because the names are super cute too. Um, they have like Buoy, Largo, Green. Okay. So they're not cute, but they're all just like cities oh, okay. in Maryland. Like local. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and so my yeah. favorite one is the, um, what do I always get there? Uh, I think I get the Largo. No, I get the green belt and I add um, ginger, but it's spinach, pineapple, and banana. Yeah. Mm. And I add ginger. But yeah, it's really good. You guys should check it out. I will. I was just over there the other day. Why? Really? You didn't call me? I didn't. Oh. It was a drop off. It was mm. a turn and burn mm. situation. Okay. Not, Not a, a turn, turn and burn. burn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you Who know? are you? You and your phrases, I swear. <laughs> Who are you? I won't be mad about it. It's fun. Um, <laughs> all right. So moving on to our song of the week. Uh, this week, we're going to go with songs that uh, make us feel like a bad B. Mm. Yeah. Anybody mm. got any? Mine is, that's my best friend. She a real bad. Hey, 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 that's hey. mine. Every single time. Is that <laughs> my Bessie and a Tessie? The way yeah, I was yelling that everywhere was. on my wedding day. It was. They all, so. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait, you weren't the only one. <laughs> you weren't the only, only one. one. Yes. Only one. I love that song. <laughs> Um, mine is conceited by Remy Ma. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I haven't yeah. heard that in. I know. Yons. Yeah, that's Dang. a really. I used good to listen one. to it before every soccer game. No. <laughs> oh, mm. that track, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who's going? Me or you? No, you. All right. Mine is um, "Money on the Floor" by Big Crit. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a stripper song <laughs> and Big Crit. Yeah, like, the track. Yeah, the track. Yes. It does. I think one. Wait, of are them... you the one throwing money or the one twerking? So I said, who has to choose? Right, get you a girl that can do both. <laughs> love that for you. I love it. I love it. I think the one that probably gets me turned, like, and only privately, because I don't think I would do this in public, but formation by Beyonce. Oh. Like I feel like, like I feel like it's like this is one, but a okay. little mix of Janet. Like, you know, like I get like oh, a Janet okay. like you be doing yeah. the dance. Okay, okay. Yeah. The fact that the song came out when we were alive is interesting to me that you would pick it. <sighs> as, That's as, true. I was expecting an oldie. I yeah. was. <laughs> <laughs> she moves into this century. Every yeah, now and it's again. so <laughs> odd. <laughs> that was going to be like one of them cleanups. Like, me a clean up woman. Like one of those songs. First of all, <laughs> that does not inspire me or make me think I'm a boss anything. <laughs> Clean. I ain't cleaning nobody's <laughs> shit ever. Okay, I've right. just felt like more of your realm <laughs> of music is all I'm saying. Not yeah. her typecasting you. <laughs> that is exactly why it's in private because if I was to do a little dance, I would have, you know, it's just, it's not going to be pretty. So, you know. I just envision Nicole doing the robot like by herself. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or like I'm marching around like looking real simple. <laughs> I love in formation. Anyway, to be a fly in the wall. <laughs> okay, y'all. So this week we're talking about black women, well, folks in reality TV. And mm-hmm. we're sparked this is because all of us pretty much watch some form of uh, like dating shows and reality TV. Yes. And we were watching Perfect Match. So spoil. Okay, spoiler. If you have not seen Perfect Match or Queen's Court, you should just turn it off right now because we're going to talk about this, both of those shows in, and in its entirety. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're watching Perfect Match and um colony and ann sophie were on there and i just didn't like the way that they were being treated personally can we just back it up and say that colony and ann sophie were both black girls i don't know that either one of them were from the dating perspective Mm -mm. of netflix stuff they were on selling tampa yes this is like how are we gonna get black people on this show yes (laughs) they're like we know two others from another show let's get them (laughs) Yeah, we own them too. Let's get right. them in here. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it it. So they they don't come into it with probably all the other uh, things that you have experienced and this fast dating 
scenario i feel like yeah in other words they out here getting a bag while y'all trying to find love yeah because their reality show is them working right yeah it's not them playing up for tv well i mean maybe it's like them playing up for tv but it's not like having to cater to exactly right yeah exactly so it just felt wrong on a lot of levels is what i was trying to get at them being on the show yeah it just didn't seem like to me it didn't i immediately was like why like i mean i I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. It just didn't because feel- of their topic, because of their well, I guess like it wasn't a natural ones. like avenue for no. them. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're the only. Well, I guess the mole wasn't a dating show either, but they're pretty much them and the black guy was always crying. Dom, <laughs> um, they were the only ones that were on a show that wasn't like it dating will. focused. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Still, I, I don't know. That's I don't I know. Got. When I watched it, it it what did the children say? It made me cringe a bit, only because I feel like they weren't valued as beautiful or i agree they just weren't valued in general um as a whole on the show so maybe we should give a premise of the show Wait, can we oh okay mm, that's okay cool. you want <laughs> yeah go ahead okay so perfect matches they start off with 10 people five men five women and at the end of the day they had to match they had you had to like claim a person first of all it's kind of caveman ish to me Fine. in general but um <laughs> you have to find a mate and you do these challenges and whoever wins the challenge has control over maybe this person needs to date somebody else because maybe that's not really your match um so over time they bring in new people new people get i don't want it's not voted off it's just like if you don't get chose then you have to Vote excuse yourself yeah so Unchose. Right. So there's been there were two instances where two African-American women were selected to go on a date with people who they didn't think were with their match. And they as quick as they came on the show, as quick as they left. Um, well, let me say this with what her name is. And Sophie. And Sophie. She was one of the original 10. Mm-hmm. And even still, she was like last man standing. With- yep. Well, she was kind of also relegated for like the other black man who also wasn't chosen by anybody. So they by okay. default were chosen. But this the show is also like weirdly formatted because it they recouple so frequently yeah. that it just like it doesn't really give a chance for like anything like it genuine these great relationship building is obvious. It doesn't even mm-hmm. seem like an option or like the objective of the show because it's so constant. It would be something different if it was like every three days we rotating, but this is like, and maybe it is on like a production level, but that's not how like we it as seems the like it's every night. See it. Yeah, right. I don't know. I don't well, know. It's giving was, every night. Giving back and forth. It's giving. <laughs> giving it was, <laughs> oh my god! At least a day. She's like, hey, <laughs> we'll move on to the next. Yeah, I just it just it didn't. They weren't valued. I don't think that any of them. Nobody cared about what. I don't know. To me, they they just didn't care about them as a person. People were interested in getting to know them. And that threw me off. Even Colony got there and was like, yeah, there's nobody here for me. Well, <laughs> let's kind of start from like the beginning of both stories. So like we have like a little bit of context. But so like Anne Sophie, what kind of wasn't chosen by any of the other guys. And so her and Zay from Ultimatum. Ultimatum. Oh, yeah. ended up together. And like, Which I don't know why they chose him. And like coupled. And either. he was like, very rude yes. to her, like very like very. almost acting like he was like disgusted by her like yes mm-hmm. like uh like uh, we're definitely sitting with a pillow between us because like i don't want like kind of like little side comments like that yeah. which i felt was like really unnecessary mm-hmm. and gross um but yeah i don't i just felt like too like watching the show they had men on here that clearly don't want to date black women yes so maybe zay i think we've seen him with the black yes yeah she was yes. black on ultimatum mm-hmm. right so we've seen him with black women, but he was the only one. Everyone else in that show just didn't seem like they were interested in dating black yeah, women. But which is there also the other, like, besides Zay, well, there was that one other black guy that came on again briefly. Calvin. Wow. Yes. Not you remember the yes. names. I'm impressed. Yeah, because I like Calvin. I watched Did him you on watch the it last night. Oh, okay. Oh. I-, <laughs> <laughs> I like Calvin from the circle. So I do like Calvin from the circle. I think that he would have been a really good option to have. But to your point, Carol, I think the people who they've casted, maybe that's just not their interest. And that's fine. I mean, right. if you don't if you if you don't typically date black women, then that's that's your choice. But I think that if you're going to have black women on the show. Like, I think there's one show that I've watched that they have a 
very broad variety of selection when it comes to people of all, I mean, great. Everybody looked like they cut up or whatever. Ain't nobody fluffy on there, but everybody another is story for another day. that right. That's a whole nother for situation. Um, but there's a lot of variety when you are talking about ethnicity. Mm. Um, on this, in this instance, I think that Calvin probably would have been a good option because he does give me a vibe that he enjoys the company of a black woman versus the other men that don't. So who did they put him on a date with? That's what I don't remember. They put him on a date with Anne Sophie. Yeah, Anne Sophie. Oh, okay. And she was like, oh, I think he's too much. I think he's, you know, and but Chase oh, that's right. Chase? she was between. Chase? What's his name? Yeah, yeah. Right. It, was it was between, between him, him and Chase. Chase. For real, for she sh- and, and Chase well, is a hot mess. So, yeah, but I mean, so Kevin's but, there's, not- but there's the other par- problem, right? Is that now I'm having to choose between someone who I'm more naturally attracted to and someone who is like a better personality wise, but I'm, I'm not really actually interested in either, either one, because right. my options are, True. I have two rather than having seven, like everybody else. Yes. Right. Yeah. So like, um, that is part of the problem. And then like all the other like men that they bring on are, and not yeah. that there's anything wrong with this, but they're all half black. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like, and most of them don't even date black women by choice. Let's so that, that like pr- brings in a whole nother lens where it's like, as Ann Sophie, if I date black men or black men are usually who's interested in me, it's not just like I either have like one choice or zero options or all the options available are not interested in me because I'm right. not their type. Right. right. And that's Which how is felt- what we see so often on these dating shows. Right. Exactly. And that's how I feel about even Colony, too, which oh, yeah. for her, it's she, I don't know, I just feel like they go in there like hyping them up like, um, Don, I don't know why I want to call I see tears like the Michael Jordan meme every single time I think of his name. <laughs> why is it raining? <laughs> um, <laughs> emotional damage um but so she like he's like hyping her up like you're beautiful no it wasn't him who was he talking it was him it was, it was him. him yeah he was hyping her up how beautiful she yeah. was and what a great woman she is and blah 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 which is fine like he's then, already like he's already with someone he doesn't want to like he's happy with so i mm-hmm. get it but like i don't know like you go into it and you tell them this person on their date and then they feel like they might have a connection with you just for them to be Right. I don't know. I I just don't. I don't know. It felt weird watching all the black women on the show come on and just not feel desired. Yeah. It's very cringy. Also, I mean, Anne Sophie was also doing a lot. I felt like so like I feel like that is like also hard to watch. It's kind of like, why? But she's not the only one doing a lot. No. Like all yeah. the white so women are doing a lot. Yeah, doing whatever. Oh, First of all, Francesca doing a lot. I wanted to throw something at her. Like she. But what's also frustrating is that we see. I feel like I continuously saw all this um, empathy for Inez. Like, oh, Inez has had it so rough in here. Oh, she really just needs to find someone. Oh, like we shouldn't like she shouldn't be left to go right. home. We need Come to on. find a date for her. There's like so much like care and like interest in her like sense of self and like who I'm like great finding chance. her and no zero regard for any of the black women on there that just are like discarded almost. Well, yeah. Let me also say this. The the one person that I appreciated the most was Colony because she went on her date. They enjoyed their time. He tried to couple her up with somebody and she was like, yeah, there's nobody here for me. And I think the problem with some of these dating shows are. OK, maybe you find your person, but it's also OK if you don't. Yeah, we'll get to that. And I think that that that's a whole nother. Because I feel like Queen's Court was like very like. Centered on that almost. Mm. Yeah, yeah, not centered, mm-hmm. but like the, I feel like it was an option for all three of those people to be like, no, I'm okay if I leave her alone. Right. <laughs> yeah. Which is not often an outcome that you see. I mean, I guess we saw yeah. in Perfect Match too, because Francesca decided to leave Dolo. Yeah, because we didn't know that there was a prize until the last episode. Right. It's so like you yeah. don't know what's a, you think that you're just there for love, but there actually was a prize involved. Oh. So there's a competition element. <laughs> hmm? I was like, oh, we thought that. What? They were just there for love. <laughs> no, I mean, the premise of the show is to find love. And yeah. what I'm saying is all these, all these other shows sometimes like, um, not all of them, but some of them, there's a prize at the end of sure, it. So like, right, right. like Too Hot to Handle, for example, yeah. like you're doing it for money. Yeah. And uh, oh. Love Island, UK. But um, we haven't talked about Dominique at all. Is that her name? Oh, the other black girl. From yeah. oh, well, she Diamond. 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 Yeah. Diamond. 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 Yeah. Sorry, Diamond. <laughs> she went on a date with... Um, she stayed for a little bit. She did for a little bit. She went on a date with uh, I don't is Will. it Bat? No, it's mm-hmm. Batiste. Oh. Bartise. Oh, Bar- but I don't. Ew, cringe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I was that the date where he was like, you know, 
I do think I find her attractive. Like I'm a sucker for brown eyes. And I was like, did this nigga just, you went on a date with a black woman and you were like, you know what? I do. I really love brown eyes. Like <laughs> just say you don't like black women. So like, just say, like, just yeah. shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> just shut up and just be honest. Everybody right. that looks <laughs> like the, oh my God, what is her name? The girl that went on the date with Francesca that he went on a date with. I'm like, that's your speed. Just say that's your speed. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I'm I'm going to say racially ambiguous because I'm not going to say that she but the girl that Francesca is date with the well, little blue eyed brown hair girl only only because based off of who he dated in love is blonde she is Hispanic, Hispanic mm-hmm. right and not to say that the girl that Francesca went on a date with I mean she's a white girl but yeah she looked very white girl yeah. to me she anybody, did, but if it's anybody like, is racially ambiguous brun- it's let Francesca. me say this brunette is his speed like Okay. I just okay. like okay. not black is the speed. Yeah. Is what I was well, that Okay, was yes. The vibe I was getting. <laughs> but I also feel like the people go off of what what they see, right? So if you and and this is only in some instances. So you at him and his mother is white. Mm-hmm. So maybe you develop attraction. Now that's not in every scenario because I know plenty of African American males that are grown up in two black parent household and Don't we all? Still love them. <laughs> Not black girls. Yes. The silence is so loud. <laughs> <laughs> but I all- <laughs> What were you saying, Nicole? You were saying something. When we- I tried to remember. I forgot. I think I was just saying that. It was about uh, the men. in the non-racially ambiguous women. <laughs> yes. The, the, wh- the white woman. <laughs> that he was dating i feel like if that's your speed that's your speed and sometimes i think it sometimes comes from what you're used to what you see at home and then some of it is just off of what you're interested in and if that's your choice that's your choice but i don't i don't understand why if you know that the pool of individuals is supposed to be this then i don't know i feel like it's their show. So why not make more space for more people? And then that way you can have a little bit more diversity. Well, that's the thing. I think, I think in the time of like, you know, racial equality and having more representation is a theme across like a lot of shows that we're seeing right now. There is now a requirement to have that checkbox of like, we have black women, we have black men. See, like we're all encompassing. We have room for everybody, so to speak, but really it's that checkbox. So it's not really like, caring for these people or their outcomes it's just like having them them as exactly to be able to say that you did it it, and so that's what it feels like it just doesn't feel like there is equity in like their care or their outcomes it's all centered on really francesca and (laughs) like how many people want her at once that's what the show really entertainment that's what it could have been called it's entertainment (laughs) is what it is but it's not really entertaining it's just like it's a little bit it's just kind of gross it's entertainment for some but it is disgusting because i don't understand the draw like i still haven't seen a personality out of that girl she's like i've seen her talk twice the amount i've ever heard of Lori harvey and i just like and even more lost on why people are desiring of her so to your point she don't want him well i mean even outside of you you she seems like a mean girl. She's Everybody <laughs> she rotated out, it was now you're on my hit list. And if I if I don't want you, nobody else can have you. I'm just it's kind of like it's kind of like everyone bought into like her being It's like girl. watching like a narcissist at work. Mm-hmm. Kind of. It's just like kind of watching a person that's like, oh, but like what? I know that she doesn't approve of everybody, but like she'll approve of me. She literally, and so it's like watching everybody work really hard for her to like them. She literally started the show off in like her interview with saying, yeah, typically just get what I want. And I like it that I'm pretty sure she said those words, but she doesn't even know what she wants. That's what well, makes it so confusing. <laughs> it's no, she doesn't what she wants. She doesn't know what she wants in real life, but it's when you put your eyes on something, you go, okay, that's what I want. I want that shiny toy. Then she's like, I just get that. So in other words, she's getting her way. So like right, you child, said, let's get away from Francesca. Work. This show ain't about her. You right. Sorry. Right, I just don't like the heifer. <laughs> um, I did want to talk about the thing, an element I didn't consider until Diamond walked in was uh, how culturally different, but ex- the black experiences mm. and the way we'll in which you, you, you relate to the people you're trying to talk to or date. Yeah. Um, it can have easily been with her that 
what you're talking about or what your reference points culturally are very different than what mine are. And a lot of people, white people, even if they date across um, the color lines, have to either and fully embrace that or figure out a way to learn how to be, you know, in that space. And a lot of people don't want to put forth the work. So what I felt with her that I didn't even think about with the other two, which is so interesting to me, but how culturally you, there are some differences too. And so while the first two, um, Anne Sophie and Colony, may have been able to code to it to fit in culturally, Diamond didn't have that ability. And that even like gave another knock, I think, with relation to all the all the men and potential in the house. That's without, interesting. Without yeah, because isn't it she knock? stayed longer. Yeah. Is it a knock if she had more su- success than Colony and Anne I don't Sophie? Know, okay, maybe I missed something. Yeah, I, she, she ended only, up staying in the house longer than. Well, a night. A night. None of them made a night. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, maybe, well and, and Sophie stayed a and night, Sophie but did. is it? I oh, think she I was mean, there for like two or three episodes. Yeah, I and think having she, come in the middle, it's harder uh, to do that. Like you have to, like someone has to choose you rather than like Anne Sophie was there by default. Kind yeah, of she actually had someone pursuing her. That guy with the long hair. Will. Will. Well, I don't know if mm-hmm. I would call it pursuing. And, and this is exactly was, what I'm saying. It's kind don't of know. like default, but I, yeah, I again, I both of them were. I don't know that it hurt her. I guess is what I'm saying. Okay. I mean, I hear you. The only reason I think it did is because if this was a different type of show where um, instead of everyone trying to vie for their longevity, who was it, Bartice at first? All right, I just need to make sure I can stay here long enough to get to wherever I need to get to is what it felt. Mm. Versus... For the guy that was choosing her? Yeah. Yeah, he was uh, very strategic. He came from the mall. Like, he was, like, talking well, about him, it. Like and also Bartice, but... right? Because Bartice ended up having a date with her and then choosing her. But he also... Oh, we are forgetting another black woman. The one from UK. Oh, Izzy. yeah. Izzy. Yes. Oh, yeah, so he yeah. was bouncing around between, like, Izzy, Inez. Uh, I guess he, like, slightly entertained Diamond for, like, a second. I think they went on yeah, a date. And then, and like... And, and then that brown-haired girl, because he got kicked off and then came back, I think. Yeah. But, like, it... It's like chaotic from like all sides, but I don't, I guess like to, to your point, what it's making me realize is that they don't, there were no, what we consider spicy white men on this show. Mm -hmm. They're all like very like culturally white. white. Yes, (laughs) exactly. Not like the white guys that begin fades and clearly have black friends. Weren't they all American? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think all of the men. Because all of the women, some of them were from like. Like UK, Australia or something like that. Right. Yeah. But okay. go ahead. So you can finish your point. I didn't mean to cut you off. Okay. So. Me? Yeah. Oh, I, I think I was done. Oh, okay. So you brought up a really good point about Izzy. And I had completely forgot about her. But when I. <laughs> I forgot she was black. <laughs> me, <laughs> maybe it was that part. I think it was. <laughs> sorry. Is it because she's British? No, I think it was her voice. I think it was because she's she, British. Yes. <laughs> I think that might have been it. I don't know. Yes. I'm not going to claim that. I just forgot. <laughs> There's a, there's a whole thing about that, but I will. I'm sure there yeah, is. It's about, well, well, I'm, that's I'm the whole hot topic. Yes, it is. let's just <laughs> keep rolling. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to be trusting this man at work because he's British. And I'm like, wait, is his is what he's saying makes sense? <laughs> <laughs> think for yourself. But when you think about it, I think that she was probably the, out of the three black women that were on the show, the one that was most desired. Like people Four. actually, like I don't know. I'm not going to say. She was with Nick. She was with um, Bartiz. And who else was she with? So, yeah, she had a lot of lungs. She got she burned had by Bartiz, right? Mm-hmm. Shane mm-hmm. also was interested in her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so she got more play. Yeah, she, she did. Definitely got more play, play, but, yeah. but yeah. I'm, I wonder what, outside of her being British, what was the difference between her and well, Okay. Oh, wait, all that. right. All right. Wait. But can we also talk about like how just personality wise, different then ha- like she's very different yeah presents herself very differently than how colony and sophie diamond oh, present sure. themselves yes, so like sure. they're, they're, i like don't want to like just like sidestep that difference no, also like it's yeah. not i don't think it's strictly race she comes off much more like lighthearted and fun bubbly. yes and bubbly and yeah. like you know what i mean oh so, no like, there, I there's I that element also i would completely agree with that that's why i said besides mm. her being british it's it's definitely her personality. She's definitely fun loving. It's, I think that Con- Colony and Anne Sophie definitely gave. Um, so, which one of y'all are going to chase me? 
Did y'all get that? Because that's. I it, didn't get chased. I just got. I don't know. I think sometimes we go into situations just very um, like we're not going to we're not as compromising. Yeah, I would say in general, black women are not mm-hmm. as compromising. Mm-hmm. And so when you go into one of these situations, you see someone that you're not initially attracted to or maybe. I don't know. A lot of like, I don't know. And don't get vibes back. Yeah. Or, like, like, or the, yeah. it comes across really early on that you're not interested in me, then right. I'm not going to chase you. Yeah. Right. It's just yeah. like, it is like my time here is done. I feel like that's what definitely they true. But and, and I don't want to like, like talk down, but there's right. also like the, like the tropey aspects that like, and Sophie kept being like, I'm here to like, I'm a queen and I'm here to find, like that can be kind of like, uh, mm-hmm. uh like we, Okay. But like, I also feel like that like, some of that it. is also cultural, right? Like yeah. I think that some of that is cultural. Like you can be in a very cultural space where, yeah. where someone uh, of another black woman or a, bl- a black man would be like, yeah, sit, you, you, that's right. Right. Like I feel but I mean, like that's Dom fed into that with, with colony, like, like you're a strong yeah. black queen, like right. a beautiful want black you. queen. Like, yeah. <laughs> True. Uh-huh. But I mean, like, I mean, he did like buy into like that cultural, you know what I mean? Language. I get at the very least. I, I understand what, what you're saying, but I, I just feel like that what that expresses is very different from someone that's just like, I just like to have a good time and is going to make out with you in a hot tub. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like that. Those are two very different experiences. The reason yeah. that I have a second teeth earlier, though, is because I also feel like that's something we have to do as black women um, to not be, you know, we've had enough hurt. I feel like sometimes we do go on um, on guard more because we are being set up in places we don't really care for. We're not made to feel a majority, but a minority. It's to be ostracized. So, like, I can understand that feeling that way. And it being not only being portrayed that way, but people assuming that we're not lighthearted. We're just in that situation. And I think it is a lot easier for individuals who have not had as much of a struggle. I'm not saying Izzy has not, but sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Culturally, right. because of your experience, it may be in a different space where you're okay, you are allowed to be more friendly and bubbly. And that was what it read oh. to me when I was watching that. Oh, That's see, what I felt. To me, it said, my the objectives are different. I was gonna say the exact same here to thing. have fun. Yeah, and Sophie Colony are here to find husbands. Yeah, yeah. So for like, real. So and, like, yeah. he has like, but wasn't that the point of the show? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah should, but should have been. Should have been. But, but, but Izzy has really, been on dating shows before, right? So she like she's like, listen, I'm just here. If you want to make out in the hu- in the tub, and that's what's gonna like get me tonight too. Like, bet you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. th- knowing how to like play the game also yeah. is part of the game. Yeah, and it it shouldn't have to be. And like your objectives can be what they are, and that is completely fine. I'm not saying that anyone should have done what Izzy right. did because it was right. more successful. Because in the end, it got mm-hmm. her burned too. Right. I'm not advocating for that. I'm just like tr- just trying to like parse out the. No, that's fair. But I also like and just to tra- transition a little bit, like Anne Sophie and Colony probably would have done really well on per, um Queen's Court. Very for well very, mm-hmm. for, for sure. that very reason. Like you have people on there that are intentional about dating, it, but again, they're older too. Mm-hmm. Um. Perfect Match was a bunch of what, like twenty somethings. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. the oldest one might have been in their late twenties. No, Colony literally called their like mid thirties, and I think the, the youngest men? one. Mm-hmm, the uh, youngest one was um twenty six, uh, twenty three. No, the Bar- women were in Bar- their twenties. No, they were in their thirties. Francesca was thirty. Yeah, Francesca. She said it when they were, she was talking to him. She's like, "Oh, he's a baby." Yeah, Colony looked at him and said, "Oh, you're a baby." Yeah. Like I, I could have sworn they were all in their twenties. Francesca's no. in her thirties. Embarrassing. <gasps> wow. And she act like that. Mm-hmm. Anywhere. Okay. <sighs> well. Okay, let's look it, it up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Now I will say I did giggle just a little bit because Dom's interaction with Colony and Anne Sophie was like, damn, my mama would love it if I brought you home. But wait, nah, what, what makes you say that? No, just because like it she's 30. <laughs> He gives. Who? Wow. Francesca. I got yeah. a black mama at home. Uh-oh. And <laughs> I also feel like Dom, what a big part of what we were seeing with Dom, though, is that I don't think Dom knew he could pull. Yeah. Francesca. Oh, like yeah. women like yeah. that. Yeah. For sure. If that makes sense. For sure. So well, I he feel said like, it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, part of that is like, oh my God, like these women who look like this He's want shocked. me. He was very, it, it gave very much in middle school, high school. Mm-hmm. I was a big Back then nerd, they didn't want me. Right. Yeah. And now I'm flexing on these shows. Now I'm and women they who I would have never considered before. Okay, but can we also, like, Dom isn't exactly the most traditional 
black man either. Mm-mm. That's true. So like there's that element there's too where like girl. sometimes <laughs> I feel like in, girl. in other shows that we like we see or like when we find out that certain like black celebrities are like married to white women and people are like, oh my God, like kind of with like childish Gambino. Mm-hmm. I like remember seeing this conversation when that was like made like known or like more public that his wife was white. And people were like, I don't want to say fake disgusted, but kind of, but like, they were like, okay, but can we also be honest that Childish Gambino is like a black weirdo and like that is not traditionally who y'all black women are like chasing right. yeah. in mm-hmm. high school and that's not who you're pursuing. But like now, you know, now he's famous. So like, it seems kind of shocking and because he's like super pro black mm-hmm. that it would be shocking. But like, he's not necessarily like your type or the person that you would be like really interested in dating. And so was I feel like- Was he reaching for the stars or was he staying on the planes where he was? Because- I feel like there are nerdy, you know, black people who would love, would have loved him when he had no money. For sure. Wait, yeah. but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know anything about Charles Gambino's dating history or his choices. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, that's not my point. Sorry. My point is directed at Dom. <laughs> and so like, I'm, I just wonder like in, in situations like that too, where we see these black men who are not pursuing black women if part of that stems from black women not always chasing no. this particular black man. Negative, because- negative, negative, negative. You don't what think, I think so? No. And Matt, you know why? I, what I think the issue is, you're not man enough to go out and find somebody. Oh, we're going to say you're not man enough? I oh. wasn't man enough for me. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if I agree with that either. I definitely don't agree with that. The minute I saw him, that's exactly what I thought. And I, the reason I say that also is because you're of not this. allowed to have insecurities. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all, but what I am saying is that I know enough people who have dealt and done on, been on that same level and waited until they found somebody who was black because they were like, oh, I do. I am attracted to black people. I'm not waiting for whoever's attracted to me. I am saying I am attracted to this, not just because, and don't get me wrong, I understand there is some draw to like the way in which Francesca played the game, right? Like, oh, everyone's fawning over me, so I enjoy being around that. I don't mean that. I mean, genuinely understanding who you like and if you don't figuring it out before you make it based on everybody who rejected me that is a cop-out to me but i don't know that that's what's happening i'm just saying just but i'm i'm saying for those two people what you're saying with regards to they may or may not have been rejected i don't say it's a cop-out i'm just saying from the standpoint of it's not all on what how somebody else treated you that's a choice true i just don't know if Anne sophie and colony would have gone for dom if oh, he I was agree. I agree with that too. Not paired up already. You know I, what I mean? Like, yeah. Like the way that he was not talking to Colony, I don't know if she would have like really dated him for real or right. matched with him. Yeah. No, I agree with that. And I just don't know that like you have to be single or decide that only black women are. I'm not like, saying your... that. I'm saying. <laughs> what are you, you saying? Said, no, I'm you said <laughs> you said that they are doing. They're making choices based on what liked them. That's what you're saying. That black women didn't like them, so they made the choice to be with white women. And I'm saying that's an excuse. But well, I don't think it has. I don't. OK. Can I say this sure. real quick? I don't know if it's they're making a choice to date. Outside of outside of black women, I guess. I don't know if I'm saying that right. If they are making a choice to date other because of that's not what's interesting to them. It might be in that demographic that the population of people that have the same interest as them. I don't agree with that either. I hear you don't they do and that's my point they do but what i'm saying is because you're with a a white woman right now doesn't mean you're not interested in black women i don't think that that, that. that that's what dom was doing that was my point i mean does colony look like she might have been into the same shit that dom was in i don't think so right so what are you saying you you don't think dom was doing what is what i'm trying to understand when we started this you were trying to say that he dated white women possibly because he was being rejected by black women and I said, I fervently don't agree with that. I hear what like you're with saying. the concept of that or. Yeah. OK. Yeah. With the, with the concept of that. And then Nicole added on a piece about it being that there are not a lot of us that are like him. And I don't agree with that point either. Oh. So I said my, in, his, in his specific demographic, like he may not be surrounded by enough people that look like him well, doing the not same on the thing. Show. Correct. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, I'm I'm using a odd example, like. Maybe there's not enough reformed thugs that like Legos like I do. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, the, can I give an example? Maybe I'll tell you the reason. No, why. I, want to this <laughs> I want her to keep perform on. thugs with Legos. Now, I'm just saying, like, in his specific circle, mm-hmm. maybe there's not enough. Maybe there's not a lot of people that he that that might be African American uh-huh. that do the same thing that he does. Wait, wait, go back to the Legos. <laughs> I want to know how the Legos play. I like Legos. Did you get and those? maybe there's not a, a lot of reformed thugs that like Legos. Were you the one in Target? Or that will buy me Legos buying so that those? I will love them like I do here. Were you the one buying up those botanical Legos for yes. Valentine's Day? I knew it. Not for Valentine's Day. I already had oh, okay. them. Oh, okay. Sorry, them for Valentine's Day. That's when I became You're just hit. late. Okay. Anyway. Oh, but all I'm saying is that in his specific demographic. What are we so about? I, I guess the reason I feel this way is this. Being a lesbian... Who saw <gasps> no other lesbian not you. Right. exactly <laughs> around herself, and maybe this is, and I could be wrong, so I'll, I'll take fullness of being wrong about this. But being a lesbian who did not have the opportunity of example, or having friends who were, or were, you know, we're all in this together, girl. No, or even I had similar in- interests with other people who were straight. <laughs> that was where it lied for me. So I didn't decide. Okay, I'm going to be straight because all the people that I'm associating with, I can understand dating a few to, to, to this point, but what you hear people like childish Bambino, Bambino has said, Bambino, 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 Bambino. Donald Glover. (laughs) I hate it. He said before exactly what Tiff was saying with regards to, he wasn't getting any play from black women. And my thing is, when you're in a scenario when you're, I'm not wasn't gonna get no play from straight girls because I was gay. You would you then search for people who are like you. We have a thing called the internet, and both of those boys were raised around those type of scenarios where you find what you are comfortable with. And I can hear and people saying like, "Oh, this is all I have," but that but this, was the choice. But I think that the was difference the, the 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 core difference of those two comparisons mm-hmm. is that. Like straight and and gay are not like synonymous. That's, yeah, 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 like it's not the same. It's not comparing apples to apples because because they can be attracted to white women also. That's where I'm coming from. Is that just because I, mean, I like straight women, but they don't mean that. I mean, <laughs> uh, straight anyway. women like I mean, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, can we get back to the topic? Yes. I feel like we're getting way. <laughs> but okay, okay so I have, I'll have, disagree. Yes, I the, okay, so I have heard of an example where. You have someone who may be African American who, I mean, and maybe this is a cop out. Maybe it is an excuse that they date outside of their race because they don't, they, they don't get the same love from. So you're going to bring us back to the same argument? <laughs> no, I'm just saying like, <laughs> oh, I thought before she had turned. Okay, well, we can turn from it. I'm just saying like. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm it, sorry. It could be a thing, but it, it could also be an excuse. Well, I think it's certain, it's certainly a thing on these shows. Like yes. what we're not seeing are like eclectic black women on Netflix dating shows. Correct. So at least in these realms, like where yeah. there is no that's middle ground fair. for Dom. Yeah. I guess it, no, that's, that's like the point. core. That's yeah. A, yeah. They didn't have much to choose for him, for him that was going to be something that, to y'all's point, would even make him feel comfortable. And I agree with that. Yeah. Because well. even though, like women that ended up dating him are like. I don't think like out in the wild, so to speak, like those are going to be like the natural relationships that form. And that's why they seem so forced anyways. Slim that's Pickens. why yeah. Georgia left him immediately after the show. <laughs> like, but who is the boy she is dating? Oh, a pretty ass white boy. Because I was like, is he gay? From the previews? Not a pretty ass. Oh. oh, I don't know. You look like a I just don't know why we're on a dating show and these people that are matching with live in a different continent than me. Yeah. I mean, long distance relationships do work. It happens with a lot of those dating shows, like on Love Island right now. There's like it's based in the UK. They're in South Africa, and then there's a whole bunch of people from Australia in it. It's not gonna last. <laughs> but okay, so let's go back to I mean, a show. Um, okay, so black uh, shows that are more centered around black love, where black women seem to be um, desired. We just watched Queen's Court on Peacock, um, where the contestants were. Or the women of choice were Tamar, Evelyn Lozada, Evelyn Lozada, and Nivea. And on that show, I felt like women felt very desired. Black women felt very desired for what seems... I mean, there are other shows like Black Love, or no, Ready to Love on mm. OWN is another one where I feel like Black women feel pursued. But that one I enjoyed watching. So I was like, oh, wow, what Look a at, change of pace here. Look at how people like I like that Queen's Court was like, 
realistic. Why like are it's... you looking like that? <laughs> but go ahead. Oh. No, I'll say it after you get finished. Okay. <laughs> you feel you Goodness. seem like that. Very... Um, I like that Queen's Court was like realistic in the yeah, like maybe. the days that they were going on. It was like emulating of like their real lives. It wasn't like bachelor level, like we're gonna go on a helicopter ride around this volcano and then eat on it. Um, which was nice <laughs> because like, I, I don't know who that serves. Cause then when you come back down to reality, you're like, Oh, I don't know who the fuck you are, and now we're not doing cool shit and I don't like you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And you can't afford to do none of this if you were doing yeah, on the show. Basic exactly. ass date to the moon. Right. <laughs> so I thought that that part was cool. They were definitely catered to. I don't. The, the selection of men was very interesting. It was a lot of yeah. a lot well, yeah. of kids, a lot of baby mamas, a lot a lot of like potential drama. And I was like, okay, but like, why? If these women were white, would y'all be choosing these niggas? Well, also, okay. I do think one, they're all old. Most of them are older. Yeah. Right. So in their, the, I mean, the core women, I don't know if their age range, but their forties. No, I know. Was mm-hmm. what I'm saying. As you get older, I'm not saying that they're, you're, mm. they're going to have multiple baby mamas and multiple kids, but you're going to be dating men likely with children. Yeah. Sure. But I'm not saying they need to have five okay. by four different women. I'm I mean, just saying it was multiple <laughs> of the men that they selected. <laughs> was the, the All outcome. I'm saying though, it's very, the older you get from my single friends that there's more common. You're going to be dating people with kids. Yeah. Is all I'm saying. I agree with we're that. Not, we're not going to agree that that's wild. I mean, it so seems normal at this point. The the older, I mean, I have I have experienced it myself. I have heard from other people. The older you get, the I mean, the likelihood of someone being over the age of twenty five and not having children is okay. Wait, because let's talk about this nuance. I am not talking about a nigga just with no kids. I am talking about just niggas that don't have six kids with five women. I mean, they did find all of the niggas that have six kids with five women and put them on one show. They did. <laughs> okay. I, Thank you. I, I mean, that's my point. You. It's, a, it's a very unique population. <laughs> so maybe they just, it, I don't know, but okay. So that's not why I made a face earlier. So <laughs> why I made a face earlier, which is probably a whole nother conversation. Oh, here we go. Which is you said Tamar Braxton, oh. Nivea and Evelyn Lozada. Mm-hmm. I don't hear nobody that sounds that even remotely has a skin complexion of Viola Davis. So for mm. me, like dark skin, Nivea yes. is not light skin. She's not light skin, but she's also not dark skin, dark skin either. I mean, so, it's the first show that's catering to black people. We can't you, take you right. The which is why I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it be. <laughs> and she's not like a size two. Yeah, because that was the first time I've seen that. And, and that I love. Mm. You know, as representation mm. for fluffy folks. You know. I think that it is important to have because I think it is it's not realistic to think that everybody wants somebody who is a size two. That's just not a thing. Which I loved to see. I yeah. love right. that there were men specifically because Nivea is not like a traditional like housewife type of yeah, like like Tamar sure. and Evelyn mm-hmm. are yeah. either. So like different color wigs every episode yes. like Long i loved nails. it and people yeah. you would see people come on and be specifically like i had eyes on nivia yeah, I love and that i too. loved that mm-hmm. also back to the kid thing um evelyn and nivia also have multiple baby yes. daddies yeah, they just do. to and do be a equal equal opportunist there okay mm-hmm. so okay carol be an equal opportunist <laughs> i know see for once i'm not being toxic <laughs> <laughs> make sure you play that flip <laughs> the niggas on instagram <laughs> And that'll wrap up the 2023 season. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's all you get. <laughs> that's all she got. No, but I agree. When I was watching, I was like, first of all, Nivea was my fan favorite on this show. She's just very much herself on everything that she's on. My favorite quote of the whole season, and I skipped a few episodes, was, ooh, my nerve endings are doing cornrows. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's so funny. That man would touch her one time, she'd be like, <laughs> like eyes rolling back of her head. I so real too. Oh my god, yeah. so she was too. so genuine. She was. She's mm. my favorite on the show. I mean, just have more shows like that. I'm tired of seeing. Did you watch this one? No. <gasps> Why you ask? Why did you ask? <laughs> I mean, I want her to kind of make a point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a happy, but I'm going to watch. I love that everyone else is watching shows that show more representation than I would like. Yeah, uh, I, I love this show. I wanted more of it. You got to make the numbers when go I was, up so they know when, that this is what the audience When I want. did finally chime into the group chat, I was given the homework assignment of watching that show. And I watched do Perfect it? Match. Oh. Yes. She said, Queen Co. you could hold off on. Oh, okay. Mm, so right. did. So I did, what, <laughs> I did, did the assignment. <laughs> 
But I will absolutely watch Queen's Court because I love to see that. Like, especially yeah. knowing there's people of different body types and just the men too. Do more of it. Because all mm-hmm. the men weren't like fine, like six pack. Not fine. Six- <laughs> well, okay. I'll- she said what she said. That's why I took it back because I'm not saying they weren't fine to somebody. <laughs> just not right? to her. Yeah, like they weren't. They weren't <laughs> like the um, conventionally like handsome. All of them. I will say. I mean, say. were they average height with broad shoulders? No, um, there was a wide range of faces, body types, height, height, skin complexion. Yeah, oh, like a couple like of spicy white guys on there. One of them had the most kids. <laughs> wow, equal opportunity. He does, and I think they're all his baby mamas are black. <laughs> yeah, he said that. Yeah, he likes well, well, New Orleans. There was like teeth. Like, there was an yeah. interesting moment there about like Jeremy <laughs> color too, because I think Tamar called him bite or vanilla or something, and he was like. Oh, not vanilla. And she's like, oh, does that offend you? And he was like, no, not at all. And then she was like, well, you can call me caramel. And I was like, no, you can't. So interesting. No, you can't. Like, you're just like, just caramel strictly. Like, not chocolate is not okay. Mm-hmm. But like, caramel well, is like, I mean, well, to her point, to yeah. my point. And also, I would have said that you guys have been like, you're not chocolate. You're not. I just, I, I don't think about it like that. You're giving. <laughs> to me, you're, I, I think about it. Wow. <laughs> you're giving. Okay, no, no, no. You calm down. <laughs> <laughs> don't you do it. Don't you calm down. I me, mean, it's giving. To me, I can. <laughs> Get it off. Because I know oh, you're not. You no. want to do it so bad. Ooh, Get it off. Talk back. No. Ooh, don't do it. I ain't going to do it. Do it for the vibe. I ain't going to do it. Do it for the vibe. <laughs> okay, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm tired oh, wow. I'm here. Goodness. all i'm saying is tamar's probably gotten those comments like i get all the time where she was like yeah i'm chocolate and was like, you Absolutely not. i always to me if you're black chocolate is like the natural thing it's not like a color thing to me i guess is how i think about it mm. that makes okay. sense fair enough uh, not been my experience Nicole said, not no, for no, me. Right. No, Pick I'll somebody say, else. No, <laughs> Get somebody okay. else to do it. Um, what was the point you were Didn't making? Didn't think that was going to be a controversial topic. I don't know. I just was <laughs> talking about an interesting moment about colorism briefly. I just. <laughs> and then we just. Yeah. It. We just like went right in for it. So, Fair you know, enough. my point is moot now because apparently there are parties here who also agree. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. Learning, I learned so much about y'all. <laughs> every time, every time, every episode. Good lord. Yeah. I said what I said. Did you have any points on watching uh, Queen's Court? Um, no, I think everything you guys said pretty much resonated with me. It was nice seeing, I think, um, to y'all's point, an older generation, because I think one guy was like mm. 54. And you know, we're not seeing, I feel like that's between the ages of like, uh, mid thirties to your mid forties, a lot of people are single and people aren't really talking about what it's like to go out there. So it was just mm-hmm. nice to me. Also, I think on the a- the age aspect, but for sure, that also reminded me of like the cultural difference, right? We mm-hmm. had a white guy on there, but he he knew the culture. Mm-hmm. He wasn't go. He wasn't. There's something to be said about being drawn to somebody who understands your culture. Now, don't get me wrong. People cross cultures all the time and, and like to explore, but there is something about having I get not I, having to explain myself to exactly, you. and I, yeah. so I understand. Like I feel like people say that it's a bias or whatever the case may be, but I think I do understand. It's some comfort about being able to do that without having to tiptoe around other things. I, I commend every person who goes across cultures, but sometimes it is easy to stay right on home when you want to be at home with somebody. So yeah, I don't know. It was nice to see us represented in a way that wasn't just in skin. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I also really enjoyed seeing like this show was catering to them, but I felt like they were in uh, spoiler alert if you're still listening um, and Nivea did choose herself at the end. I feel like in most dating shows, you don't really see that as an option. They're always like, oh, I have to choose between these two guys and the third guy. He left and now I'm wondering if I'm even here with the right two people and that was my person, blah, blah, blah. Like it never seems like choosing like self and being Mm. like none of you like at the end of the day, like production put this group of people together yeah. and like if you're you know from perfect match production doesn't give a fuck about you if you're black and did not choose anybody for you right. um, mm-hmm. according to that producer so like in shows like this where like yes like this is who you have to choose from but it doesn't necessarily mean that your husband is in this room yeah. it can mean that 
And hopefully it means that for you if that's the outcome you want. But it's not like you're not required to spend your life with anybody on this show because of the parameters of the show. Yeah. Right. And so it was cool to see like people that were willing, like Tamar and Nibia specifically, were very willing to be like, listen, I might just walk away from this alone and might have to just be cool with that. Yeah, I didn't talked about it candidly. Mm. Yeah, I did think it was interesting with Nivea being so into her two guys. I was shocked to then not pick either one of them. Yeah, I was very surprised. But I was like, you can because it's not like the show was supposed to end with a proposal. Like right. Tamar's did, which was odd. That's a good point. So like you could have. That's what I was like. You could just date them. Yeah, and it could just not work. Yeah. So I was interested. Like I was. It was interesting to me that that Nivea just mm. didn't choose to just date them, have fun, and then let it fizzle out later. I was also very confused by that because when she was like between Tyrone and Mac, is that the other guy's name? Yeah. When she was like talking, the two things that spoke to me the most was when she was talking about like, oh, what are your kids going to say when they meet me or if they meet me? And with Tyrone, she was like, they're probably going to be like, uh, like, here you go. Like, this is your usual type, blah, blah, blah. And like, have like, be defensive about me. But with Max, she's like, they're going to be shocked because I don't usually choose stability. I don't usually choose mm. men like Sheesh. you. And I was like, mm. how do you not like, how does that not like call out to you as like, this is the correct, like, this is like the like shift you need to be making. You know what I mean? I was like, very, very surprised. Because I knew that she was, was doing cornrows. Well, obviously. <laughs> so when she broke up with Mac, I was like, duh. Not cornrows. But, but then order. when she broke up with um, Ty mm. too, I was very surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I think for, yeah, I was, yeah, I just was surprised by Tamar because I I was like, sis, you, he proposed to her and I hadn't even heard her say, I love you yet. She wasn't even sure she liked him. Yeah. (laughs) Like she was thinking about walking away from you a day ago. How did you get down on one knee? Sometimes when you just love, love, you just go with it. Like, you know. (laughs) Why do you look so bothered? So mad. (laughs) <laughs> you're so show. disgusted well, no because you I've know seen that not a lick of this show <laughs> you don't have to have heard of it before 44 minutes ago <laughs> let's be clear you don't have to watch a show to know people people in general some people just love love mm-hmm. you have some individuals and I don't it could be men but you see it mostly in women that will just deal with shit will just Side off with mediocre or whatever have you, just for the concept of loving somebody. Not I, you, like you really typecasting her and have not seen a lick of it. Because she was not well, no, like I'm not that. On I'm the saying show. people in general, like some people just. But I also, you've seen Tamar. I mm. agree with you, but, but you haven't seen the show. Mm. You don't need to see the show to you know do. Tamar. Mm. You, no, I agree with you on that point. But on this show specifically, <laughs> she was very much about self, like not falling into her usual stuff. Oh, very good. Well, then I'll watch. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you're not gonna lie. I'm sick of you. But it was just very weird that she took that she um said yes to his proposal after everything she was talking about the entire and season. And then was like crying mm. on her shoulder, and I was like, I don't. She was all of a sudden in love in yes, like I ten so minutes. Confused. It was odd. So strange. Odd. And they're allegedly still together. I wonder what his. I, I thought that like. he proposed later, like <laughs> yeah. Evelyn's guy yeah. did. But no, no, he got money. He's a lawyer. Mm. <laughs> He's not on. broke. He's de- well, I won't say he doesn't Three. present himself to be broke. Let me say Five it that way. Kids. Smart, smart. Like I said, Five, like I said, different baby he doesn't, need to watch. Watch. He he doesn't present life. himself to I be broke. I don't need to watch the show. I was wearing this show. Like, little uh, JR Law shirts on TV. He I was, was like, sir. No, but and they showed his billboard on the show too. I forgot what it was happening, but they flashed across. I was like, wow, you better get you, you a sponsor too <laughs> on this show? Because sheesh. Yikes. Giving Not mad at it. I was mad at it. I'm also not mad I also do want to bring into this conversation like the Bachelor franchise is shitty and it's been in existence since I was like preteen, but they are trying to cater to black people more, which is like creating a little like symbiotic group of black people that have been on Bachelor, which is is really it's like forming into something that's really cute and wholesome, Mm. which is is kind of cool to see because like as this show has like been on for decades now and I've never seen this mm. because they just started having black people centered as like the bachelor and bachelorette in the last five years. So because of that, it's two people have like fallen in love on like one of their spinoff shows like bachelor in paradise. Mm. And they only like met because they were both contestants on like the bachelor and bachelorette because the bachelor and bachelorette of their were black. And so like, it's like starting to like turn into the, and so like this most recent season was a white man who had this like black girl that became a fan favorite. And so he, I was obvious, clear as day that he wasn't gonna, not going to choose her to me, but white people were shocked. Um, 
but now yeah. she's going to be the new bachelorette. And it's the first yeah. time that it's been, she's like the bachelorette that hasn't come off of either a black season or oh. been like chosen out of like random mm -hmm. that's come off of like a white season is and is now centered as the bachelorette. And so like, I'm excited to see like what that can transpire into yeah. for like a show that has been traditionally very like white centered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, well, let me know. I'll yeah, me too. Watch it first. Let me know how it goes yeah. and then I'll okay. jump in. Yeah, I will let you know. Because the, the, the Michelle season, who was a black person who was on the like the Matt James uh, bachelor, who was the first black bachelor um, contestant, she was like really good. But her, she chose like the worst nigga of the bunch. And so they're no longer together, which is not shocking. But he is friends with like a whole bunch of those like guys that were on her season and their friendship just looks so wholesome. Mm -hmm. And it's like so nice to see. Granted, they're all they're all half black. Now that I say mm -hmm. that, <laughs> I think all of them are half black. Well, OK, but the, <laughs> but the bachelorette that is coming up is, is black. Black, Yay. black, yeah. blackity black, blackity black. Oh, very good. All right, yeah. Let us know how it goes. Yeah, yeah. I only watched The Bachelor when you tell us that someone's black on there. And we should watch. I'll keep you posted. Even then, Matt James, I turned it on and media was like, mm -mm. He, it was so cringy. And you know what's crazy is he he brought that girl on <laughs> that he like called her racist in front of all of America. Oh yeah, and now they're still together. Oh, and out still of all to this, this day, besides mm -hmm. Rachel, who is the first black bachelorette who married the guy who, um, she was. You got proposed to at the end of the show. All the other like recent bachelorette bachelors are no longer together, but him <laughs> still going strong. Still get holding wow. on. <laughs> Maybe that's the key. Call your partner <laughs> but racist. They, but they still not engaged. On national TV. Disrespect mm -hmm. your partner yeah. on national TV. And that's that's how you know and that they won. That's how you know it's real. If you can yeah. make it through that, you can make it through anything. That's how you know you have the upper hand in the relationship <laughs> and you'll never lose it. <laughs> Hold on, that's how you know it's toxic. <laughs> man, oh man. All right. Should we move on? All right. Sure. One well, thing we gonna do is tangent. Okay. Um, what do you think the corny slash cringy niggas were like back in the day? Pimps. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I could kind of see it. Like, you know, the... Like the super fly type? Yeah. <laughs> you think they were corny? You think like people were not interested in that? Not, I'm not going to say corny, but cringy. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think of like, welcome to Good Burger Hunt. Like, <laughs> can I take your order? Like, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I guess I think of like, instead of like niggas that were like coming up on like horse drawn carriages, it's like a nigga on a mule. Like, you know, I think this is the best I could do. He didn't have a mule. He was walking. <laughs> <laughs> he's like willing to write you long love letters but he can't spell <laughs> and your name is misspelled too I'm sick because who's going to teach him I said she would take a red marker to that thing like <laughs> wrong wrong send wrong. it back <laughs> <laughs> red line to sender red line <laughs> is um, calligraphy error. <laughs> send it back <laughs> go yeah. learn oh, something love. Oh, <laughs> love I feel like it would be somebody who just brings I don't know something they didn't grow in their backyard, or not backyard, but you know, I'm like not wildflowers. This is a personal garden. And it's like scallions, those wild scallions that you don't even intend to grow. Honey, I brought you some fresh lavender. No, he's bringing over like apples. Like, I would not be mad at that. Not flowers. He's bringing over fresh fruit. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Actually, that? I wouldn't be mad. No, I'm gonna say that's all. corny because I feel like some I'm of the corny it. niggas, like we've if talked about this. Some of, them, some of the corny uh, niggas are like the best they ones. Be they be yeah, yeah. I feel like I call them corny when I don't like them though. Oh, uh, I sometimes I feel cool. I feel like corny is endearing. Okay, it can oh, be. yeah, it can be. Person for sure. Yeah, it yeah, can be. yeah. That's true. Because even the nigga on the mule, like you know, this yeah, is the best guy. <laughs> yeah, you tried. You, you came. Yeah. You picked me up. I'm still picking you up. Now you I'm gonna you meet you there. Yeah. I'm gonna meet you there. I'm gonna have my daddy drop me off, and I'm having to come pick me up. But I appreciate the effort. But Maybe we'll then... walk back together. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the mules even trot. Is that a thing? Yes. No, the mule gotta stay. We gonna walk these oh, okay. two good feet. You're not gonna side saddle it on the mule? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Not side can it hold, on the mule. Can it even hold both of us? Yeah. Mules are Mules strong. strong. Aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not y'all know it. Hey, they're like, I'd, I'd be the nigga on the mule. <laughs> That's how I know. No, it's, it's doing the gentleman thing. You can ride on the mule and I'll walk beside it. That's cute. Oh, that mm -hmm. would be cute. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Look at the corny men winning. <laughs> Love that for them. Shout out to the corny niggas. <laughs> All right. Well, so it's time for 
Coley's Corner. We need a jingle. Mm-hmm. We do. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. We do need a jingle though. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just I did that like Trina Braxton Coley thing. Did you see that? Corner. We did something really cute. Like yeah, no, like it wasn't cute. Rainbow. It was it not cute. It, it was pitchy. Oh. It was just just all all it was pitchy. <laughs> wow. wow. Okay, I didn't say all that. I just said it was. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We don't have real notes. How's it pitchy? Like, right. Maybe that's what the notes we're going we for. Maybe we should find someone to. We should give us our note. <laughs> Jesus, you got high standards. Well, right. I've been cool with Tip's tangent forever, but like, suddenly. All right. But Tip's tangent is cute. No, forget it. Because mm-hmm. you think that, because you say it. You're right. <laughs> I came up with it. It's how you going to tell me how to sing it when I wrote it? It's perfect. <laughs> how you going to tell me how to sing it when? <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> they ain't come to see you, Otis. <laughs> wow, and that is being uh, your pips. Or pi- what do they call it? The pips. pips. The pips. Ooh, the pips. Anyway, okay, look. Ooh. So, Coley's Corner question for today. Um, given all the dating and rotating, where'd you get this? Um, I got it. Thank you. I got it from Relationship Restored. And the question is, ladies, is it inappropriate for your girlfriends to have a close fr- friendship with your man? I got questions. Why you got questions? Like what? Well, give your advice first. Okay, yeah. Sorry. How is, are you going to answer? This is your corner. Mm. Let me <laughs> let me back up. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Come into the corner because I mean, I guess it's fair to say I have questions. I think the are they questions or caveats? I think the <laughs> both <of them. laughs> that part because if I'm reading it at face value, close friendship. Hell no. Mm-mm. You don't need to know. You don't need to have no close friendship. Y'all can be friends. Y'all can keep it cute and cordial. But close friendship is a no for me. So what do you okay? consider to be close? Yeah, that was gonna be close. Like, can I call Harry on a Friday? Like after after a certain particular hour, then you call me. And if it if you need the opinion of both of us, <laughs> then you can get the opinion of both of us. Okay. But so where do you draw the line? At like you, if you need advice after 11 p.m., <laughs> then you call us. Okay. You know okay. what? Besides time, what else is like? Is there certain like subjects that are not that should be don't, for you and not for Harry? Or don't talk about your sexual relations. Um. Don't. Th- there's this one half of that does drunk dial all the time, and I'm like. Ooh. One make it make it they, no like they work together they friend they are friends uh-huh. Harry's actually it's real real thing so Harry has a work friend you throw it. <laughs> long, Harry has a work friend that wow. does call what's her name him. what's her name <laughs> I won't say that <laughs> on, on the pod <laughs> she did call him on a late night and I'm like like you what's know how, late like, you hear like it was like two a.m. Oh. Whoa yeah. Whoa, okay. And she's feeling nice. immediately <laughs> no, like her, his phone was ringing. Harry doesn't hear things in the middle of the night, so jokes on you. Um, oh, I heard the around. phone, and I'm, I'm like, I'm not gonna hit you. Okay, I'm like, <laughs> your phone. Like, why? I'm, I'm so like, glad I took it back. Why do I know you so well? <laughs> I'm like, wake up, your phone's ringing, right? And he's like, oh, it's just. I'm like, he knew. Sorry. What? Oh God, I don't. <laughs> anyway, he's like, it's just this person, right? <laughs> I'm like, don't, okay, but what does she want? Just don't hour? take it out. <laughs> I don't care if you do. She, listen, because but because I'm gonna tell you how she know, right? What's her last name? God. Shut up, Carol. <laughs> anyway, so she says, like he's he answers his phone. He's like, oh, I'm not gonna answer. I'm like, oh no, you're gonna answer the call because we need to understand why at this like it better be an emergency. Were you already awake or did it wake you up? No, I was awake. Okay. And answers on speakerphone. Why am I nervous? Like it's happening to me. I'm sweating. <laughs> I know, me too. Answers okay. on speakerphone, <laughs> and she's just rallying at the mouth, talking about her a current boyfriend or whatever, and you know, like just rallying off and like, oh, she's just drunk dialing. So when she was well, sober, he felt like that was a safe. He thought that was the safe thing to say. Well, yeah. because apparently, like she just goes off, like she vents, or she's like, asks his. As a male opinion at for, 2 a.m. Not just in general, like at work. And he's like, well, sometimes she asks my opinion. I'm like, but is it with the, within reason? So I, I do understand this question. Um, but she's also not his close friend. Harry thinks everybody is his friend. 
But at the end of the day, I made it very clear. I'm like, if your phone rings after 11 o'clock, it's either an emergency or it's for both of us, period. And immediately she was like, oh my God, please tell your girlfriend. I said, I'm so sorry. This is the next day? I didn't, yeah, like she called. She's like, I didn't mean to call it that hour. I, you know, I know that can come across as a disrespectful. Yes, ma'am, it is. Because if I called your man at that hour, you would probably feel away. So yes, close friendship. Like the, it just needs to be defined. After a certain hour, your close friendship becomes a, a group us. chat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a group chat at that point. But what else? Like, where else do you draw the line? Like, besides phone calls and things of that nature, like do just you, topics are you okay of discussion. With, are you okay with them like going out without you, like going to dinner? <laughs> She's like, why would he go out without me? Why you need to see him? You leave the without house. Me? It's not why? work. I mean, if it's if it's not work, why are y'all going to that? I don't know. I'm just asking questions. Mm-mm. Yeah, no. I don't like where this conversation is going. I feel like it's planting seeds that don't exist, and I'm scared. No, it's not planting no seeds because I'm I'm straight. But okay. <laughs> is but he? Are you? <laughs> is is old girl? We straight over over here. But no, like in general, the the line is is. Work friends, okay, cool. You, I mean, you you're gonna develop friends everywhere, yeah. but what like and dinner, just intimately, or like are y'all picking up a burger after work type deal? Like, you know, I'm, I think mm-hmm. that there are levels to it. Um, there needs to be boundaries and respect. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, and like if you if you going out to dinner and you don't know, like you you think he's single, that's problematic. Because they should they should know that you're in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that there just needs to be things that are known. The clo- Like, let me say it like this. Wait, hold on, wait. Go ahead. It did say for your girlfriend. So it's like not his friends that don't know you. It's, it's like, your friends and your man. So it's like us. Yeah. Does that so change? My, it, it does. Yeah, when I, when well, I wish it, him a happy birthday, how you feel about that? Oh, I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, when I be like in his photo shoots on Instagram, that's okay. Yep. Okay, because I I know what he puts on y'all's. I know how he comments on y'all's posts, so it's fine, you know. <laughs> I'm the one that needs help in this situation, and you look at me. Wow, wow, you're not even my safe space. That's crazy. <laughs> Me, uh, but like my my me specifically, my close friends. Yeah, like we are. If we're close friends, we're family. But Harry's wild. I did, he's wild in general. So I apologize for any comments he may have made. <laughs> when, may or may not have made on y'all. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. 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 Before. Certainly made. <laughs> Name's still there. Roll the tape. Roll the tape. I know. Why did I delete it? I don't know. <laughs> for all the mothers to see because you married now who cares yeah, I'm in tears I'm in tears but my I mean me specifically I can't speak for me because my friendship circle is tight and right but for the person seeking advice just a boundary like if your friend is entirely too friendly because I feel like this is a piggyback back off of a previous Coley's Corner which is like your friend cheating on her her man with your man. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Like I feel like there there's just a certain level of boundary. I know that y'all are not going to ask my man advice that y'all wouldn't ask me and things like that. So just But do you put the boundaries in place preemptively or like are they often retroactive? Mm-hmm. Like I feel like we don't That's have like, hard. That's like hard clear thing. boundaries because we just assume that we all like know each other's lines and we haven't had to like have those conversations. I but it's also just a level of respect. If that's not anything that you would accept in your space, then you're not going to assume your friend is going to accept that this, in their space. This is interesting because I know that this has happened with two people where they didn't one friend did something that did it they didn't know that the other friend was gonna have an issue with. Yeah. And then when they found out it was an issue, it was a thing. But mm. it was one of those things like I didn't know I was crossing the your line, line yeah. until you were already upset. Yeah, right. So I, I agree with you. It's like when do you wait or do you say like here is my boundary? This is where I draw a line. Please don't overstep. Because right. some things is like I don't. I wouldn't know that it's an issue till it's an issue. Right. Yeah, that's fair. That right. Really I mean, fair. to that point, I mean the coworker where they didn't know that like maybe you vent about your man 
to my man while y'all are at work. But after hours, when y'all leave from that place, then don't do that. And if you do, yeah. n- now she's fully aware. Don't do that shit because yeah. you don't call no more. Like, I remember the first time that you were like, is it okay if I text Patrick? And I was like, is this the thing I should be checking? <laughs> I just don't want no problems. <laughs> that part. That I've never part. thought twice that about that. I didn't know that that was a thing that we needed to check on. Well, I do have a friend that had a problem with that. Okay. So I mm. just, so now preemptively, I'll just be like, if yeah. I, I would either, hey, can you ask him? Or if it's something where I'm going to have to, like, I think if it's a ministry thing, like, I just need to, it's a continuous thing that's going to happen. Like, I just need to make sure that you're okay. I don't want it to come across where you see my name come across. And you're like, why is Carol texting? You know what oh, I mean? Like, yeah. I just don't, I feel the same way about, um, like even like hugs at church. Mm-hmm. Well, hugs in general for me, but ex- especially with married men. Like I just, no, let's just I get it. not, let, yeah, let's just not even, or, it's so interesting. Yeah. They have like a whole, like my dad was telling me like in men's ministry, they have like all, you know, I won't say a tutorial. I don't know what it's considered, but like how What's to appropriate hug women at church basically. Yeah. I just would rather, I just rather, rather not. Oh, see yeah. that thought has never even crossed my mind. But I think it's because mm-hmm. all of the men that I do hug are like not my Family. age range. Like, yeah, yeah, like it's like, you know, my right. godfather. Mm. Yeah. You know, your dad. Yes. Like, <laughs> like everybody yeah. is my uncle. I feel the same way. They do. I've, half of them I've known my entire life. Right. I just, I don't know. It's some, and nothing's ever happened. Like, I don't even want to like put out in the atmosphere that I've had an issue oh, that's not right. happened. Mm-hmm. I just don't want it to be an issue because I've seen other people have issues mm. and I just don't want my sure. name in something that right. could be Please misconstrued. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's too much. But Man, that's a lot to think about. Well, then, do we need to write down rules and just... Yes. <laughs> Guidelines. Not the, the commandments. Chat. Not the relationship. Like relationship ten commandments. Matter of fact, take Patrick out the pod chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad we have it. The way I'd be forgetting to tell him stuff. He's like, are we recording on Saturday? And I'm like, oh, I didn't tell you? Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yikes. Good to oh, know God. that we need to... <laughs> Be on top of that as well. Right. Sorry, Patrick. Didn't Sorry, know. How do you feel about um your friends being? It's interesting because uh, currently my friends with my girlfriend, so that's in itself a thing. But I don't. It never. Do y'all, but y'all all met at the same time, right? Mm-mm. Oh. Mm-mm. I knew Shay before I knew Ken. We no, 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 no. I mean, did you guys <laughs> meet? Did you and <clears throat> Shay meet Candace at the same time? Yes. That's what I'm saying. So like yes. that is that a different dynamic because the three of y'all kind of like met at the same time. Probably. But I don't know. I honestly didn't even think about it until she brushed it. Now I was uh shaved it. Now I was like, oh. Well yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but I was oh, okay. like I never it never even to this point, it never even crossed my mind. But I'm also very much one of those people that I'm not gonna text your girl. Like, mm-hmm. unless you have, you know, somehow put us maybe in like a three way conversation and then I'm gonna do I was it like, that way. Going with this? No. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say something wild. I was like, three, two, <laughs> and cute. At least I'm consistent. Conversation, <laughs> text chain, whatever you may call it. Um, yeah, but I, I've never even considered not, but at the same time, I'm okay if you do and I'm okay if you don't, but I just know I don't. So have, I just, I, is it because y'all have not been in situations where this is an issue? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Because yeah. even when you asked me like, is it okay if you text Patrick? I was like, I know I've texted Shelton. I mean, granted, maybe it because I, I knew Shelton before like you knew him briefly. So like I, it didn't even occur to me to like ask you, but I've also never had any situations like where my significant other has been like, uh, nice. Like yeah, yeah, like fring- and like fringed upon by like mm-hmm. a friend. I think I've haven't been directly involved, but I've seen it happen several times. And I think for me, I just have like a mental mm-hmm. checklist yep. oh, of okay. things, especially with relationships that are okay. All of my especially people that I really really care about, I just don't want yeah, that right. to happen. Yeah. I think I'm more I'm weirder about being in physical spaces together. Yes, than communication. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I'm I'm never gonna put like my best friends in a situation where it's like them one-on-one with my husband and I'm not there. Mm-hmm. I just like, I like, I, I think like it's like almost happened a couple of times where I like went to the store when like someone was going to come over. And then I was like, I should probably just like hang. Cause I just like, don't, I don't want to put anybody in any weird situation mm-hmm. or have to yeah. like, even like have a situation where it's like, 
it's a thought that like crosses for any reason and it's mm-hmm. not because of like lack of trust i just like don't it's like to protect both, both people, people if that makes sense yeah and this so, just like, happened on real housewives okay yeah. so like i just like and that is something that only really occurred to me after i think like pastor and first lady were like talking about it or something and i was just like oh like that i've never had to think in that i've never lived with a man you know mm-hmm. like i've never had to like think in that way before yeah yeah, yeah. No, that's real i was about to say i think the only reason i don't is because i was accused of doing such and i wasn't mm-hmm. right of, like, what? of being of trying to talk to their person my my friend accused me of trying to talk to their person and Ooh, i was like based on what the significant <laughs> other said no i think you're just a gentle lady <laughs> okay i'll take it what was the scenario um i had a friend who i met when i first met i uh, moved here um that was showing me around and we had gone to different clubs and Is there everything. a cheer competition here? <laughs> <laughs> I said, <"Dirt." laughs> it's cool here. Um, it, is. it is actually. Um, no. So I met, we were hanging out. She met the person she was talking to. I was talking to someone from home. So we went on a double date. I don't know what she thought transpired. We all were having a double date. After that, I got accused of, Trying to talk to her girl, so I don't know. If- On the double date? Yes. So I <laughs> wow. Right. You got the- <laughs> My girl got a girlfriend. Was your girl even upset? No, <laughs> she had no idea. I was like, I, it was not. I didn't. You was macking on both of <laughs> I was accused of macking on multiple people. I'm not talking about that. No. Either. That does not this surprise me. Very it was probably on also par, true. On brand. About my, <laughs> about my daddy of all people. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. your parents. See, and that's definitely that it was mm-hmm. true. Because your parents know. They be seeing you. It wasn't true. <laughs> I'm just joking. I wasn't there. I don't know. <laughs> Trigger. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not giving y'all's opinion. Precious. Now I'm about to close the corner. <laughs> the corner is closed. Like, I got a joke with y'all. So <laughs> I am sorry. Okay. If you have any submissions or questions or things that you would like advice on, you can email us here or you can DM us at what keeps us respectfully, please. Please. Thank you. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's time for meme of the week. Meme, meme of the, the week. week. Okay, so this one comes from <laughs> Black Twitter Threads, and it says Twitter was founded 17 years ago today. What's Ugh. your favorite tweet of all time? None of them. Um, mm. Well, this one had me cackling, and it says <laughs> it's by um, at Billionaire B E L L E Yonaire, kind of like Chameleonaire, you know, mm. similar. Okay. She said, in hindsight, the Wicked Witch of the West had every reason to light Dorothy's ace up. How are you going to kill my sister and steal her red bottoms? You hillbilly biatch. (laughs) (laughs) Wait a minute. So for me, have y'all ever seen Wicked? That has no business being that. (laughs) It doesn't at all. But even watching (laughs) Wicked, it makes it even funnier. Mm. Isn't that what that's about? That that she's upset and wants to get revenge on (laughs) on Dorothy? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. You know what's even better? If there wasn't like a previous threat, (laughs) that was the only tweet. (laughs) In conclusion. I saw that. I was like, wow, I am in stitches. It was funny. Mm, What a great place. What a place that I refuse to get back on. Yeah, I don't Twitter, so I can't. I'm too reckless. <laughs> I was like, I don't drop tweet. security. I don't Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> I got too many social medias to um, account Man, for. Okay? Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. Let's wrap this up. All right. Apple shade. Who's ready to start? Mm. Um, I'll go first. I have a short one. Um, I'm just going to say to my black women um, to continue to put yourself in spaces where you are appreciated, you're respected and mm-hmm. loved. Um, we don't have to keep going on these shows where they don't um, appreciate a woman that looks like you. And I'm honestly, I'm tired of it a little bit, but I am appreciative of shows like Queen's Court and Ready for Love that um, seemingly are putting us in positions to be wanted and desired. But I just want to affirm that black women are wanted and desired and watching these shows might make you feel like you're not, but you are. Amen. I'll I'll go. Just so there was... Someone actually said this on the show. Um, on on um, Perfect Match. I was like, not Queen's Court. <laughs> no. <laughs> she didn't watch. You know what? <laughs> don't like these people. Anyway. Because we speak um, truth. 
what they said was be well it was something to the effect of be in a space or know that you are someone's priority and mm. not an option yeah mm. and that has stuck with me just because as black women you don't normally see yourself on tv all the time um but as carol mentioned you know that you are desired that you're loved and that um, there is somebody for you if that's what you want for your life. I mean, some people don't desire being in a relationship and that's your business. But mm -hmm. if if you are someone who does desire to be in a relationship, that there is somebody for you that will love you and that will treat you as a priority and not just an option. Mm -hmm. So just rest in that and know yeah. that when it's your time, it's your time. Yeah, um, I'll go because mine can be kind of short. It's kind of centered on reality TV. Um, I'm affirming for us that we don't desire to become part of the fuckery. Like mm. reality mm. dating shows are not a desirous place to be there. I'm not rooting for black women to be on there because mm. I don't think that they are catered mm. to finding love period, regardless of whether yeah. they're black Fair or point. white. I think that it's a lot of production and a lot of uh, value yeah. that is centered on entertainment and yeah. it's not centered on your mental health. It is not centered on finding love. It is not centered on um, finding long lasting relationships. And so I don't claim that for us. I'm not mad that we're not centered on them because I don't, I don't think that, I want to see us centered there. I want to mm. see us centered in places like Queens Court and see us centered in in reality TV that is serving us and right. it, it are telling our stories and are benefiting us as a culture and not har harming and degrading us. Period. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That was okay. good. Um, I think my affirmation for this week, um, the thing that sticks out the most to me about a lot of these reality television shows is that they're monolithic and they don't really want to capture what the rest of the world looks like. They just want to be able to cater to what mainstream enjoys. Um, so my affirmation for this week is that you don't have to cross cultures in order to find love. You don't have to cross, uh, cross cultures in order to be respected. And you don't have to cross cultures in order to make that money. We saw um, both Anne, Anne Sophie and Colony doing fine without what was the debacle they had to be put through um through a perfect match so i want to affirm for y'all that the bag is not in crossing the bag is not in being mainstream the bag is not in um you know trying to fit into some type of mold the bag is in being you mm. honestly and the culture is going to shift and and surround you where you need to be i think that's what Anne sophie and um colony took away from that experience i'm glad to hear that they did although i'd wish that it didn't have also a a slight effect on them, you know, just in the mental capacity of having to be in that home and not even, you know, recognize as human sometimes in some scenarios. Um, but I affirm the bag is the bag is in our culture. As long as you're maintaining whatever you feel like you need to do for your culture, for yourself, I promise you the, the money will flow. The people will come and the love will also be attracted. Mm, bars. Word. Jesus. It's a word. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you in two weeks. <laughs> Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.